Hello, in this video I'm going to show you all of the selection techniques that I use to work faster and easier. Bear in mind that some of these work differently depending which sub-element mode you are in. Unless specified, all of these can be found in the select, select menu, and note that I'm using Blender 3.3.1 and later versions may differ. Number 1. Select Loops. In Edge Mode you can hold Alt and select an edge to select the whole loop. In Face Mode it will select the loop direction based on the nearest edge. Number 2. Select Ring. A ring select is similar to a loop, but instead of going in the direction of the edge, it goes to the side. Hold Ctrl Alt and select an edge to do this. Number 3. Select Shortest Path. With a vertex, edge or face selected, hold Ctrl and click another to select everything in between. Number 4. Grid Select. With a vertex, edge or face selected, hold Ctrl and Shift, then click somewhere else to select a grid of elements in that location. This doesn't always work over more complex geometry. Number 5. Grow Shrink Selection. With Ctrl plus or minus you can grow or shrink the current selection. This is particularly useful in, in, in conjunction with the next method. Number 6. Convert Selection. Holding Ctrl while switching between elements will keep them selected. For instance, converting a vertex to a face will select every face connected to the vertex. Number 7. Invert Selection. Pressing Ctrl I will invert your selection. Number 8. Border Select. I have this set to Quick Favourites, but it can be found in the Select menu under Select Loops, Select Boundary Loop. It converts a face selection to its border edges. Use this in conjunction with Grid Select. Number 9. Select Mirror. This works based on the object's origin point on a symmetrical model. If you tick the Extend option, it keeps the original side selected as well. Number 10. Checker Deselect. This will deselect alternate elements from your current selection. You can set how many it selects, how many it misses, and offset the selection. Number 11. Select Similar. With Shift G you can bring up this menu. The contents changes depending which element mode you are in. Two particularly useful ones are Face and Coplanar, which selects all the faces on the same planar axis with the same normal and in edge mode by direction. This can be used after using a face poke to get a diamond pattern topology. Number 12. Freestyle mouse selection. This is found in the toolbar on the left. Click and hold to select between box, circle and lasso modes and x-ray versions of all three. I leave mine on box x-ray 99% of the time. Number 13. Select sharp edges. This is similar to 3ds Max's select by angle option. You can specify the angle threshold and all the edges that meet the criteria will be selected. This is useful for marking seams or hard edges on your model. As with everything in 3D, there are dozens of ways to achieve the results you're after and familiarising yourself with these tools makes you a more proficient modeller. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you down the road.